Hey Pandalings, this is the Black Belt Panda. In this tutorial video, I just want to show you how to make a nice, uh, probably large bathroom is what I would call it. Um, we're going to go over some different ways to hide glowstone. And we're going to go over how to make a sink, bathtub, shower, and toilet. And it will all look, hopefully, um, very nice. <clears throat> now, first, to start off with, you need a slab floor. As you can see, slab floor. You can use any material um, that has accompanying stairs. And I don't know if that's all of them. Uh, let's see what kind of stairs we got here. So, cobblestone slabs, wood slabs, stone brick slabs, or brick slabs. Any of those would be a good choice. <clears throat> so, I went with stone brick slabs, just because I wanted to. Um, so, to make the sink, we're going to first punch out a 3x3 three three area in the wall here. And I'm using clay for my walls, just because it looks nice. Um, and what you want, so I find some here, is dark gray. So the regular gray, I should say, wool. You'll want some glowstone. So let's grab some of that. Um, let's see, you'll need a cauldron. You'll need a bucket of water. A lever. You'll also need stone pressure plates. And I think that is it. So let's go ahead and make this. So, first of all, you want, um, actually, we don't need that. Hang on. There. Dark gray wool along the bottom here. And then you want to break the slabs here. Let's see if I'm, if I can get this right here. Um, ah. There's what we need stone bricks so place those along the bottom dark wool along the top alright so let's see this block here we want to be glowstone and above that we want a cauldron just like that now we're gonna break the slabs in front here and I see it hides the glowstone pretty well but it still lights up the area we're gonna fill the cauldron with water stone pressure plates along both sides and a lever along the back here facing the water and sink pretty easy alright so the next thing we're gonna do is uh, a little method of hiding glowstone here going to break hole in the floor here put some glowstone down and grab whichever leaves you want to use I'm gonna use these ones and just make a bush so you can see it does a decent job hiding the glowstone especially if you've got fast graphics turned on you can't see through the leaves uh, you won't be able to see the glowstone but it'll still light up the area so next up is the toilet so to do the toilet you'll need matching stairs of whatever slab you use so I'm using stone brick stairs you'll need the gray wool you'll need the cauldron you'll also need a stone pressure plate a button, a bucket of water. Pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to break this block here, and we're going to break this block here. And we're going to turn, we're going to put a stair, then we're going to put a cauldron, and then on top of the stair we're going to put gray wool. On top of the gray wool, we're going to put a pressure plate, and then we're going to put a button on one side. We're going to fill the cauldron with water, and then the last thing you'll need is a trap door. And you're going to put that on top of the cauldron. And then you've got a toilet. Pretty nifty. Alright, the next thing we're going to build is a bathtub. So to do that, you want to break a block there. Stone brick. Or whatever block of... Whatever block you're using for the slabs. One, two, three blocks out the side, and then stairs. Stair on along the back, and then again, one, two, three along the side. Stair, stair, and whoop, stair. Now go ahead and break the blocks down the middle, 
and then replace whatever block underneath with whatever you're using for your floor or whatever you want to use actually you don't have to use the same material in the bottom of your bathtub fill it with water grab a lever put it on the block make sure it faces the water like that there's your faucet bathtub pretty simple and the last one we're going to do is a shower so we're going to break this corner block here and then you want to replace the floor with whatever block you're using and for this you're going to need um, the full size blocks you're going to need some glass panes stair block you're going to want a bucket of water a lever you're also going to need a regular piston and some redstone there we go redstone alright so to build this we're going to go over here put a full block down three full blocks um, yeah and then here we're going to put a stair alright so now you need glass panes and you're just going to stack those up to the ceiling and then you're going to turn here and then one more there that's the basic shape of the shower now we're going to put a lever right there and we're going to break a hole right there so if we look the levers on the one two third block so if we come out the back here one two third block so this block right here is where we want our redstone now we need to run the redstone up to the ceiling so we'll make a little staircase for it Whoops. alright we're gonna come around here and we're gonna run it to a piston which we want facing the hole and then you wanna surround the hole with whatever block you want I'm using clay because that's what my ceiling is made out of and you want that two blocks high like that and then just pour a bucket of water in the top we can ride the water down and then when we flip the switch there we go water stops so now we've got a shower that actually turns on and off so it's pretty cool next thing we'll do is hide this glowstone in the walls and you want to get some paintings to do that so we're gonna there's some certain paintings that I'm going to try to get so I'm gonna see if I can get them really quick um, basically all you want to do is you want to cover the glowstone with a painting so if you look you can't see the glowstone but it still lights up the room so I'm gonna cut out really quick while I get these paintings in alright I got the paintings in I threw a couple extra just for appearances um, now we're gonna do some glowstone in the ceiling so basically what you want to do is just break a two by two square in the ceiling grab some glowstone and some trap doors toss your glowstone up in the top and then put your trap doors at the bottom nice little way to hide a little bit of glowstone in the ceiling alright random painting floating and it won't let me grab it whatever <laughs> um, so next we're gonna add some carpeting so I'm using sandstone slabs because it kind of looks like carpet and what we want to do is break out two blocks out whoops hang on let me fix that alright so you want to break two blocks out from the sink in front and two blocks out to the left like that and just fill the area in with sandstone slabs nice little carpet next to the uh, or rug I should say next to the uh, bathtub and in front of the sink and we're gonna do one around the toilet here so for this one just break the blocks around the cauldron fill in with sandstone slabs we've got rugs looks good now we're gonna put a window in so we want some glass panes 
I'm just going to toss it right up here, and bust those blocks out, toss a couple glass panes up. And looks good. I think that about does it. Um, so one other cool trick I'm going to show you really quick. I'm just going to grab some uh, gray wool, pressure plate, and a lever. If you bust this wall out here, and you build the whole bathroom mirrored, so in reverse from your first one, then it will actually look like you have a mirror in your bathroom. It's a pretty cool trick. As you can see, got a mirror. Only no reflection, like can't see your character. Unless you do this, you could stand on the other side and hit F5. Kind of looks like a reflection. <laughs> Only I'm facing the wrong way. Oh, uh, wow. Hang on. Let me try this. Jump. Backwards. There. Look at that. We can see ourselves in the mirror. How neat is that? <laughs> anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, get my view back. There we go. Um, planning on hopefully doing some more interior design sort of tutorials like this. Maybe like a living room. A uh, kitchen would be one that I would like to do. Um, maybe a dining room. Or that might be part of the kitchen. I don't know. I'd like to do a weight room. That would be pretty cool. Show you how to how you can build an exercise machine and a punching bag and stuff. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> So if you like this tutorial, you know, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I'll be putting out a lot more. And uh, like I said, I'm going to have some more interior design ones coming out. I'm not done with the bunker. I'll still have some more bunker ones coming out. And I might even do some more farming tutorials. We'll see. Um, if you have any uh, suggestions for rooms you'd like to see done, leave those in the comments below. Um, I'm sure there's probably rooms I haven't thought of. And I'll just make a little list and try to go through them one at a time. So thank you for watching. This is the Black Belt Panda, and I'll talk to you in the next video. And I'm back. Um, quick announcement I wanted to make before I ended this video completely. Uh, the Sleepy Kitten, who some of you may have seen in my Stranded episodes, um, has started doing her own sort of, what would you call it, health and beauty tutorials on YouTube. So if you're interested, uh, maybe if you're, you know, female audience is mainly who I'm talking to right now. If you're interested in... Uh, hair, different, learning different hairstyles, how you can take care of your hair, how you can take care of your skin, ways you can make your own um, skin and hair masks out of maybe things you have lying around the house, um, or even you know the male audience who's interested in that stuff. Um, definitely take a look at her videos. If you just want to support her, take a look at her videos. Um, and also, a uh, quick shout out to Cage848. Thanks for the extra subs, dude, <laughs> for sending a few people my way. And I will try to get some more farming tutorials out on maybe crop farming. Um, but feel free to use any of my designs. And that goes that goes for everybody. Feel That's what these tutorials are for. Use any of my designs in any of your builds. You can make videos with them, you know, whatever. Just don't try to, you know, steal my tutorial and call it your own. Um, if you're going to show someone how to build one of my builds, please give credit. Um... But if you're just going to show off the build, it's fine, whatever. <laughs> That's what these tutorials are for. Uh, so once again, thanks for watching. This is the Black Belt Panda, and I'll talk to you in the next video.